Hold on. What's the meaning of this? We owe Eivor a lot, my love. I know. Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stow, I released you from your debt, and yet you came. London is quiet enough, and Stow here felt the sharp stab of conscience. Could not let you down, Eivor. That's not what an honorable man does. So here I am, despite my reservations. And you, Broder. I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother. Sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Eivor. Now I am bloody angry. I know, I know. It is last of Rey. I hope the debt will be cleared. I long to... Deolav, you have come again at my call. I have. But this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship, your oath will be fulfilled. I know, I know. Not... Giedrich, after Rochester, I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. It would sooner bet a hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love. Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Giedrich the Drunken Ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. You soft. Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. Really, leave these poor boys alone. Their ears are too delicate for the filth you pour in. Boys is right. This streak of cat piss is barely off his mother's tit. And the Essex boy has hands like a milkmaid. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother and my lord proud today, Eivor. The lord knows I have not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends, and we will feast together in victory. You soft-cheeked angel boys. Last of Have you brought the your mother to you? Tefder, it is good to see you. I gave you my word. Besides, Alfred's faith is strict and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that god boy. That is good to see. And you taught me a lot, Eivor. Our time together was... Well, it taught me much. I'm glad, Tifter. In fact, I composed a poem for the occasion. Would you like to hear it? Mm, later, Tefter. I have many allies to greet before the battle. Stay safe and well. Until then. This last of I hope the death will be clear. There you are, Raven. Look, Finna, my old friend. And I see you have convinced your husband to stumble southwards. I couldn't let her carve all the glory for herself. Lyuvina was just boasting of her heroics in Sussex. She took the fort single-handed, while the rest of us sat back and sipped meat. You should have seen her. <laughs> I have come to make sure my warrior wife's enthusiasm for battle does not get her slaughtered. Have you ever met a woman less in need of a guardian than me, Eivor? You will have one nonetheless. This last of the you brought the dead will be killed. My Vinir, stand tall. A light heart lifts all those around them. Ah, Eivor! Who would not be joyous, reaving at your side? And how do you feel about bringing sorrow to the Saxons on their holy day? It darkens my mood. I have learned some of the Christ Lord's teachings. He preaches peace where our gods delight in battle. Let their delight be ours, then. You have many battles to wage before the end. And I will be beside you for them all. My axe ready, and my heart stout. My mother is worth ten of your men. This last of I do not hope the death will be clear. I have seen those strong I Saxon hands all clucking round the heart as you farmers. Do you believe... Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England.
I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the things, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tifta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda, take Erke and Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village! Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards! Get to the village, and wait for my signal! Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house. Sunan, guide me. from my torch. Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Werum? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side, all those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I would not leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder, do your worst.
empty fury. It does not matter if I die as long as Alfred is safe. Your life means so little. Beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. No. I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That... I cannot allow. They came! 
came from every house in Hobel. with the rest. These men will not surrender. And one little cockslow oh. barricaded himself behind that door there. I will find a way in. We have this! No, but your Saxon boys were ambushed. One lays wounded. Hold these men back! I will find them! They will not let us. 
Hoonwald, come, get up. This is no time for weed wailing. I... I cannot. There is a blackness closing in around my eyes. It frightens me. Forgive me, Hoonwald. Hoonwald, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. Has winter come so soon? You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Ava. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast, sob bright words of welcome, and, and tell you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest. They are routed! The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Guthrum Jarl, we're not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled! His patsy struck down! Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here! Guthrum, hear me! Soma is... 
She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the Endless Feast. And she is the better for it. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There is nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours. But it came at a great cost. Soma Yalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand. She will live on in our memories, from now till the end of days. And to your warrior, husband, and friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I hear repay it. And to Hunwald, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead. Our fallen warriors. And speed them to their end. Uthram. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I have made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its light before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwall's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger.
Good day. Eivor? Swanborough, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own one. No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! He fought bravely and turned the tide to secure a victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero, and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are a poor salve for a wounded heart. I'll leave you to mourn, and know that we're here for you. Always, should you need us. I have something for you. A message. Quite strange. My love. Hamptonshire has fallen and withered the kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. <laughs> 